just tank and then use my repel to lose turret aggro. And that kill actually really screws over Vagar. Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm playing Elise in the jungle. So I know I did an Elise um, quote unquote guide already, but I thought that for my my main champions, I'm gonna do more, um, obviously more than one game, and also more in depth. So I think playing multiple games, multiple guides, will just be better. Um, that's not a good trade for Ezreal. Goodness, Ezreal flash and heal. I would start Cocoon, but it's pointless right now. Alrighty. But yeah, so I'll leave the runes up on the screen here. I'm running Electrocute, Elise, the standard. Um, yeah, Elise is just a great champ. Good for climbing, good at ganking, tower diving. And yeah, one of my favorite champs. Alrighty, so I told my Kled earlier um, in the chat, you're not going to be able to see it, but I told him that I'm going to be ganking top early because he has Ignite and also Urgot doesn't really have much of an escape. So I'm going to try and do that. I can also try and invade Kha'Zix, so that's kind of my thought process. Now, um, Urgot's pushing. I really hope that Kled just doesn't die though. That would be... Uh, that's something. That is something. When you tell your laners you're going to gank in the die at two minutes. It happens. He's also full HP. So instead I'm just going to invade. Since my top laner is not there. And there's a big wave. So fighting Urgot is going to be very difficult. Oh. I thought he was AFK. I've wasted my cocoon. I'm just gonna keep invading because oh he's right here. So Urgot's missing now, so I gotta be careful. So let's get out of here. Pop a potion just in case. And he's a goner. So Kazix flashed after me. Not a problem. That was very well played by myself and Orn. Orn also has TP. So, very, very good. Ezreal got two kills bot lane with no sums, so I'm not sure how that happened. It's a bit risky doing this, but I could go for it. Beautiful. So that's a pretty solid early game right there. Let Orn have the CS. Just help him push it out so that Vagar misses more. Take this, and then my Gromp's coming up. So I'm going to take the Gromp as well, and then recall. Nice. Good job, bot lane. This Kled is getting absolutely bodied at the moment. about Kled too. So you can see that I'm always paying attention to my mini map so that I see Kled's fighting. If I wasn't there, he could have died. And instead, we get a kill. Four kill participation at five minutes. Beautiful. That's kind of what you want to do on Elise though. It's just, you want to always be fighting, ganking, skirmishing. And now since my Gromp is back up, I'm going to take it, and then I'm going to head bot side. I want to make sure that Kha'Zix does not get a free dragon. 
So I'm going to get this here just for some chase down potential. Get this and a sweeper. Now let's get back on the map. You also want to always run in your spider form because you have increased movement speed. So you just save more time. <clears throat> Sorry about that. But yeah, jungle is all about being efficient with your time. Oh, there's a Kha'Zix here. Looking on my mini map. Gonna sweep here. See if there's any vision that they have. There's not. So none of that is warded. So I technically could do dragon. It's a bit risky though, since my bot lane is not there. tank and then use my repel to lose turret aggro and that kill actually really screws over Vagar because he's gonna miss all this XP and again I don't want to take the XP at uh, the CS but I want to take the XP and help Orn push and I can also help him take maybe one plate beautiful our bot side doing well now Top also got a kill, which is very nice. So I need to be careful here. It's actually greedy for me to go for that scuttle crab because um, Orin has to back. So I could get collapsed on by Vagar. And again, I don't want to throw my lead right now. I'm in a really good spot. So it's better for me to just play it safe. Here, I'm just going to take the XP from the cannon. Just get in range. Then head topside. But playing around Orn, the reason I'm doing that is because he has a ton of CC. And Vagar can't really do much to him, so... Fighting with Orn is like a free kill. He CCs them, and then I cocoon them and one-shot them. I'm also, it's also a bit of a habit of mine, but I click tab a ton just to see like what items, like look at Urgot's items right now. That's scary to fight. So I don't necessarily want to pick a fight with Urgot. So they're CC chained. I flashed just so Vagar had no chance of getting uh, getting away. This is a beautiful example of how to really destroy a laner. I'm gonna try and take this last plate here. And I'm gonna go back. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, there's a Kha'Zix. So I was gonna go back, but now I'm gonna go bot. And he's probably, yeah, he can't do anything. I'm gonna dive him. I missed him. Oh, there's a Yumi there, that's why. I'm just get out of here. So very, very solid early game. It's exactly how you want to play out of these, just counter ganking or just making proactive plays. I'm actually going to wait 15 gold so I can get uh, Sork Shoes. Makes me a lot faster around the map and also just more damage. If you have the gold for it, I used to... I blah, 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 can't talk. If you have the gold for it, I like to throw in a dark seal because on a lease you want to be fighting, you want to be, you're going to be getting stacks. I can't tell what's going on here. Okay, yeah. So I thought, but so this cled is quite strange. I don't know. I don't really know what to think. 
about this top lane, but so here I just sweep here. I know he has a ward, but kill that guy. <clears throat> it sucks that I can't get that kill with Kled, so that Kled could get ahead, but it's all good. I'll take the kill. Wolves. I'm gonna go to Rift Herald. They could be doing Dragon right now. Yeah. So I'm gonna take Rift Herald instead. It's gonna be the trade off. Lease also does objectives pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Solo. God is so this is a bit scary if he comes straight to me okay now he's there so rift herald pre 14 minutes is a lot of gold and rift herald after 14 minutes the second rift herald is it does a lot of damage to towers it's a lot of map pressure I think he sees me here. It's a bit risky. There's no point. Really no point. I could just come here and... I can just force it. Force the first turret. fast. I had to get out of that Vagar stun. I couldn't E. Damn. So Vagar gets a big shut down there. That's bad. But they sent the whole squad. <clears throat> and it's actually kind of bad. I'm going to go straight top and um, use my Herald to take the tower. Because I want plates with this Herald. beautiful that he won that yeah I'm running straight top I don't know if I'm gonna make it in time to get plates so I'm two levels up on Kha'Zix they got the dragon though oh damn he didn't die I don't think I'm gonna make it which really sucks yeah it really sucks actually gonna be like a couple seconds off yeah it really sucks but happens five seconds off so my focus is right now is just getting kills and taking towers I'm gonna play around bot side now so I can I don't want to give them any more dragons But on early game junglers like Elise, I really like Rift Herald because it accelerates the game so fast. And you want the game to end fast on champs like Elise. I'm gonna go mid, I don't think they need me, but... I'll just take an assist. I don't need a kill. I have enough uh, gold right now. I'm really strong, so I want my laners to be able to carry their own weight. So Kled is diving. He 
he's doing a lot of damage. Nice. Good stuff, Clad. I'm gonna come help this guy out. Nope, oh, doesn't need it. Does he? Kha'Zix is coming in hot or what? I was gonna go over the side, but that works too, Arn. Uh, let's get this. Kha'Zix is like one hit. Damn, I missed. So I killed Kha'Zix, but I couldn't get the big guy there. I'm just going to start up the dragon, honestly. We don't have Kled, but... Yeah, this is... Vega, I mean, uh, Velka is just baiting me. Come on, man. So, very unfortunate. I'm going to get a Morelos because Yumi's healing is crazy. <clears throat> I don't get a Dark Shield. Oops. I'm, I was going to type something. Some people just trigger me, but I'm not going to say anything. Giving up these dragons is just really not good. <clears throat> so now I'm going to play around this second Rift Herald. I want that so we can break a second tier turret. Create some more pressure. Kha'Zix is really going to have to be careful, but he has Merc Tread, so he will resist some of my burst. So there's Kha'Zix, there's Vagar. Not sure where Urgot is. Nice. That's really big. That bot lane is doing well, because I'm going to go on here everyone's bot side so I'm kind of just playing around wherever the enemy isn't I see them going to kill bot so I'm gonna play at Herald and second Herald does a ton of damage to towers yeah it does a crazy amount of damage don't forget to pick it up Tip number one for getting out. Pick it up. So we'll just reset here. <clears throat> Go ahead, bot side. I have the Herald now. If I landed that, she was dead. Damn, I couldn't get Yumi. Quite the annoyance, Yumi.
check here. Tell my team to group. And this herald is going to take the inhib. Ocean dragon's coming up. No, I'm honestly, I'm good. It's just a bad play. We got the free inhib. Time to back off. They could even get Baron because of that. So let's not. And I'm gonna get a haunted guys. I'm gonna get Leandries. Leandries and Rylize. I really like those items on Elise. Do some burn damage. Oops, I did not mean to click either. Here we're just picking them all off. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't have smite though. Ping my team that I don't have smite. It shouldn't matter though. Group bot now. On Elise, you just want to focus on cleaning up the game as fast as possible. Oh, we didn't take the wave. Not the greatest. Not the greatest way to end the game if you don't have minions. But they're coming. Everyone except Urgot is up. It's going to be hard to break the, the turret. We got trapped, but I don't know who got trapped, us or them. You can see how much damage my spider does. My, uh, what is it called? Volatile Spiderling does a crap ton of damage. 500 damage. Take this inhib and then recall. So it's just unnecessary greediness here. Everyone's respawning. Just back. There's no hurt in just backing. Buying items. Like, we could win. But we could also throw. So. I'm super strong. I'm also decently tanky with Morello's 300 HP and 300 HP from Leandries. So I don't just get one shot. It's also why I like this build quite a bit. You see this big guy's three and nine. He got absolutely demolished in the early game. Did I dodge it? No, I didn't. Oh, shit. Damn. It was just Yumi baiting me. That's my bad. Kind of forgot my whole team was dead. Oh, see, now this is where the throws happen. Hopefully. Oh, my God. Kled does a ton of damage. Oh, he's full lethality. But we're just throwing here, though. But myself included, so I need to not do that. In solo queue, you just need to try and make the least amount of mistakes possible. That's kind of how you climb. Because you never know. If you make too many mistakes like that, you could just lose the game. Like, if they weren't two inhibs down, they could have done Baron there, you know? 
So it's a, it's a good thing to call yourself out on when you make dumb plays. I think it's a good um, process on just getting better. There's, I think Yumi Ward is still there, yeah. Clear that. And we'll start scanning. Scanning the area. This Velkaz just keeps baiting baiting out my scene. Like if Kha'Zix face checks that bush into my cocoon, he's dead. But Velkaz throws out his Q because because I don't know why. Nice, we actually saved uh, Orn there. Very very nice. And this should be game here. Just bring the minions. Let's close this out. So a couple mistakes, but I think we played uh, pretty, pretty well. Absolutely demolished um, the mid laner, pretty much. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. I'm just inting. Comment and subscribe. And yeah, it really helps me out if you do those things, since I'm such a new channel. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.